Hello, thank you for watching this short video about the Racino study. Yes, the name is Racino, pronounced like an Italian coffee. Here is a typical asthma clinic appointment with a young person, their parent or caregiver, and doctor meeting in a room and making decisions on whether to change treatment or not. There are a number of unknowns in the decision-making process. For example, if more treatment is needed, what is the best treatment for the patient sitting here? A second unknown crops up when asthma is well controlled on current treatment. So how do we know if it's safe to step down treatment? Because if the treatment is keeping the asthma under control, the last thing we should do is to reduce it. Regina will help answer these everyday questions by adding an extra breath test called nitric oxide to the decision-making process. We all breathe out a gas called nitric oxide and people with asthma have more nitric oxide in their breath than those without asthma. The aim of the study is to use nitric oxide to help guide asthma treatment and reduce asthma attacks. We will need 502 children and young people to take part. Half will have asthma treatment decided on by asthma symptoms only, as is currently done in asthma clinics. Half will have treatment decided on by asthma symptoms plus nitric oxide levels. Children and young people aged between 6 and 15 years with asthma, treated with inhaled steroids and who have had an asthma attack treated with oral steroid tablets can take part. On the first visit we will get permission from you and your parent to join the study. There will be a few questions to answer. You can see that we will measure height and weight and do lung function, also called spirometry, in the same way that happens in a usual asthma clinic visit. The next thing is to measure nitric oxide in the breath. Here is how it is done. In Ricino, we need to know if the asthma treatment has been taken and we will clip on a small meter to the inhaler, like you see here on the first visit. We will also give you a diary to write down details of any asthma attacks which happen. Finally, and this is an extra option which helps us to understand how the nitric oxide is working in Regino. There is the choice of having an allergy test. You can see that this involves putting drops of water that contain things people can be allergic to. For example, dust mite, cat hair, grass pollen and eggs. There's a little scratch or prick of the skin and an allergy can be seen by a small midge bite like swelling which appears in about 10 minutes and goes within the hour. Also, there's an option to cough up some spit. This lets us measure allergic cells in the breathing tubes. It can be hard to cough up spit if you don't have a chest infection. And we know that breathing in salty vapor through a mask, you may recognize this as a nebulizer, this helps cough up spit. You can see this here. We can also have a mouthwash and provide a sample of spit for us to test genes which are important to asthma. This is also an option. Remember that the allergy test, cough up spit and mouthwash are all optional bits of the study and you can take part in the main study without doing some or any of these. After this first visit, the Ricino study has further visits after 3, 6, 9 and 12 months. These will take place instead of the usual hospital clinic appointments, but your usual doctor will be available. If the asthma treatment changes, you will get a prescription after the visit, just like in a normal asthma clinic visit. On each of the follow-up visits, we will look at the diary, ask about your asthma symptoms, look at the inhaler meter reading, and measure spirometry and nitric oxide. If you have coughed up spit on the first visit, then we would like to repeat this only once on the second visit. At the end of the 12 months, your usual doctor will continue looking after your asthma. When the study finishes, in 2021, we will write to everyone who's taken part to let them know what the result was. 